Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I'm Penge, and welcome to Moving Through Life, which is a game all about arranging furniture and items in different locations as the protagonist of the story moves through their life. And it's all very calm, it's a nice relaxing game about interior design, keeping things tidy, making sure things are organised, putting items in the right places, and I am feeling a little bit under the weather at the moment. I have a bit of a cold going on, I've got the sniffles and I'm all very achy, so right now this is an ideal game where we can just take things easy and chill out a little bit, which at the moment does seem very, very wonderful indeed. So I think without any further ado, we should jump right in and begin moving through life. Okay, here we go. Chapter one is called Childhood, and it takes us all the way back to the year 1994, which is very exciting indeed, doing some good time travel there. So, okay, we're going back about 30 years, and then we have a quote up here that says, the two most important days in your life are the day you are born and the day you find out why, by Mark Twain. Indeed, wise words, Mr. Mr. Twain. Very good. Okay, so come with me, if you will, to the year 1994. Let's go and do some wibbly wobbly time travel stuff. Wibbly wobbly wibbly wobbly. And there we go. We are in the mid 90s. And I imagine that's our room. So, okay, not looking overly furnished right now, but Joe it looks okay. So we've got a string of lights across the top. I do like the lights. They're very good. And if we look at that, Geek of corporate colours and then a bit of pink thrown in. And you know what? I'm okay with that. So I like the lights. That's a very good string of lights. Got some fancy kind of cloud effect wallpaper going on. We do have a little sort of bay window type thing. That's quite posh with a seat, a little kind of window seat. I never had anything like that when I was a kid. That's very fancy indeed. Okay, so our room is okay, but right now there is absolutely nothing in it at all. So I think maybe we should get decorating it. So what do we do? So items, hold that to add a new item. Okay, so let's hold that down. Okay, so we get a bed. Okay, so how do we rotate it? Press that to rotate 45 degrees. Okay, so now we can put our bed into our room, but I don't think we know what the next item is. I don't think we can figure out what the next item is. So I think we kind of have to do it item by item and just try to build things up as we go. I mean, it would make sense, I think, to put that right up against the wall. Hang on, is that in the middle? Can we move that into the middle a bit? Hang on a minute, rotate it round. Yeah, that's sort of the middle. That's okay. So let's pop that down like that. Okay, so the next item doesn't immediately appear. So now we have to sort of click and hold again to get the next one, which is some sort of little kind of cupboardy dresser type thing. Um, okay, I think then, I think we put that across here, so sort of tuck that into the corner, and then get the next one, and that is, oh, that's like a sort of a, a dressing table type thing. I think that would go well opposite the end of the bed, possibly. So I think that could go just there. Can we sort of put it like that? Okay, can we do other things as well? We can install or select, or delete, ah, so we can delete things. We can mouse over and delete things but I imagine we then have to put them back. Okay, that's fine, that's okay. Right, next item, there we go. That's what I was waiting for, a little kind of bedside table sort of thing. So if we put that there and then get the next item, that is some sort of foot locker type thing. I'm not quite sure which way round that's supposed to open. We're just gonna put that at the end of the bed because that's kind of where those things go. Um, oh, and then another, oh, that's more of a bedside table. Um, okay, we've got multiple bedside tables. We like many things beside the bed. Okay, that's fine. Okay, hang on a minute. Hang on, hang on. A, an entire great big kind of couch type thing. There's a couch. Where's all your other sort of storage space for your clothes and things? Even more drawers, more drawers and things, more sort of storage places. Um, okay, we'll tuck that right into the corner. That's a surprise. Is that a thing that people had when they were growing up? In my room where I grew up, you could never have fitted all this stuff. The room where I grew up was relatively small. That would have been, this would have been a vast yawning chasm of a room compared to what I grew up in. But there we go. Right, next up, a little chair. Okay, I quite like that. So that makes sense. Put that over there. Next item is a yellow thing. Oh no, hang on. Why is it yellow on the floor? It's red if you can't put it anywhere. What does yellow mean? What does yellow mean? Uh, can we place that? No. Okay, I think it's a shelf. I think it's like a little shelf type thing. Uh, let's put that above the bed, maybe. We could put something exciting on there. Okay, next item, please. Oh, another shelf. Oh, hang on. Can we put them at sort of exciting... Sort of, if we get another one, I hope we get another shelf after this. If not, this might look a bit silly. Hang on, so like that. Can we have another shelf? Bother. 
Okay, hang on, hang on. We're going to delete, yeah, delete that, and then delete, oh, I think once, oh no, hang on, we can move it. We can move it once it's placed. Okay, can we move anything when they're placed? Ah, perfect, okay. Right, so we can move things around once they've been placed. Okay, that's quite good. I think we bring that in like that. It looks a bit like a face, sort of two eyes, and that's the nose, and they're kind of like big grill teeth type thing. Okay, right, so we've got some shelves above the bed, and next up was a little kind of bean bag type thing. That sort of makes sense to go in that corner, I would say. Just tuck that over there in that corner. Okay, so next up, we've got whatever that is. What is that? I don't know what that is. A little tray of some kind. I'm going to put it on the desk and assume it's a really important thing. Um, I mean, did everybody in the mid-90s have one of those? I don't know what one of those is, but okay. Ah, here we go. A little sort of lamp type thing. Okay. Now we're talking. I like this little tiny furnishings. Although, I can't seem to put that where I would like to put it. Uh, oh, it's a wall lamp. Oh, Okay, I see. Um, I mean, do we put it there? Just in the middle of the bed? I quite like that. Okay. And then we have... Oh, then we've got another one. Okay, hang on. Have we got another one? No, we have got a desk lamp. Okay, now the thing is, over there is okay for lighting. So I think we put the desk lamp over here. And can we put it at a bit of a jaunty angle? Yes, we can. Just going to pick that up and move that one over there a bit. So the bed is quite well lit. I'm okay with that. So we don't need more lighting on the side there because we have those two lights there. That's okay. And then, of course, don't forget the lovely kind of string of lights across the top of the room as well to make it look all pretty and atmospheric. That's all very good. Right. Okay, so next up, a little backpack. Okie doke. Put that down in that corner for now, I think. And then we have... Uh, oh, like a like a scatter cushion thingamajig. Okay, put that on the bed. That makes sense. Okay, another one of these. Okay, put that on the bed as well. Then a third one of these. Uh, guess where that's going to go? That's going to go on the bed. Don't give me any more of those. Uh, oh, okay. Like a sort of an easel thing. So the character that we're sort of, I don't know, playing as or that we're decorating this room for likes a bit of art. They've got a kind of easel and canvas type thing set up. I mean, how about maybe if we put that there, look, we can say that they're sort of painting something out the window. Because we don't know what that's looking out on. It might be looking out over, I don't know, other houses. It might be looking out over a beautiful forest or a lovely kind of landscape, rolling hills. Could be a deserty kind of landscape, like a dry, dusty, arid landscape or something. Could be mountains, who knows? So maybe we've put that there so we can look out the window and do some painting. That's quite fun. Right, so do that. Then we've got, what is that? Uh, oh, it's a television. It's a TV but a really big sort of chunky 90s TV. Okay, that's very exciting. Um, we're going to put that there, although that isn't the perfect place for it, but I think that might be where that has to go for now. We can always move that later, possibly. Um, and then we've got, what is that? That is, oh, that's a, that's a phone. It's a telephone with an actual cord. Okay, we're going to put that on the bedside table. That's exciting. Oh, and then we've got a little kind of stereo type thing. Okay, that's that's very good. I like that. Okay. Um, that, I think, can possibly tuck under here, look. So we can get it. Oh, no, hang on. Do we put it up there, actually? Put it on there, look. Maybe put it on top of that thing. Right, and then we've got <gasps> the most important thing of all. Okay, right, hang on, hang on. We might need to rejig things over here. I'm going to put that there for now. We're going to pick up whatever that thing is, and we're going to move that. So it can be on there. Again, I've got no idea what that is. And then I'm going to pick that up, the game console, and hang on a minute, get the right way around. We're going to put it there. But we're not going to put it there because the game says no. Why game? What's your objection? Okay, I'm going to be honest. I have no idea why we can't put that games console onto a table. We have to put it on the floor, which does potentially seem a bit dangerous. But okay, we'll put that there. And we'll move the screen over a little bit. So there we go. Right. So what is coming up next? The next item is just a rug. Okay. I mean, maybe. Maybe. I see it's getting out of this side of the bed. I see it's getting out of that side because that's where our clothes are and stuff. So maybe we'll put that on that side of the bed. I quite like that. So we can step out of bed and we're not standing on the cold, hard floor. We've got a lovely kind of soft rug type thing under our feet, which is quite nice. Okay. So next item a round rug. Okay, let's put that 
under the oh i was going to put it under the art thingy so um yeah if we do drop some paint or whatever it can go onto the rug and we can wash that rather than it going on the floor and then having to scrub the floor clean of like dry paint or whatever we'll put that there anyway okay and then we've got um another kind of cushiony thing okay we'll put that on the sofa on the couch are we going to get another one of these are we going to get another one hang on a minute uh no a skateboard okay right yeah this is that's very 90s okay that's good i like that it's a good 90s skateboard then we've got a little kind of heart cushion thing um we'll put that there and then we've got <gasps> a plant oh it's glorious okay okay the plant can go no the plant cannot go on the shelf that's a bit of a shame oh can it go on there Okay, the plant can go on the mysterious thing that I don't know what it's for. Okay, it's now officially a plant holding device. That's good. And then we've got... Oh, okay. Is that a... That's a board game, isn't it? It's not a picture. It's a board game. Okay. Um, yeah, it's definitely not Monopoly for you know copyright reasons. Uh, okay, right. There we go. There's a board game. And then we have another board game okay we'll pile the board games up i assume we can't open things no okay oh although cleverly it does pick up items stacked on top of it which is quite good uh, i mean can we put them in the window can we put them over there no okay that's a bit of a shame uh, right we'll put them there then i mean ideally i'd like to open the drawers and things and put things away but we can't do that but that's okay uh then we have a little box which looks a bit like Settlers of Catan, if you ask me. But again, it's not. It's different for legal reasons. Okay, so we like board games. There's an alarm clock. Okay, so pop that on the bedside table. Makes perfect sense. <gasps> is, that a, is that a little cup of tea? Oh, that might be a little tiny cup of tea. Okay, that's, that's brilliant. Okay, we're putting that just there. And we're going to move that thing over. Just so it doesn't interrupt our tea. That's good. And then we've got... Um, Oh, a little cake. Oh, that's magnificent. Okay, right. Tea and cake to start the day. And then a huge plant type thing. Okay. Where can we put the huge plant type thing? Okay, put that next to the couch over there. Okay, and then we've got... Uh, oh, right. Okay, pictures, artwork. Okie doke, right. Uh, creativity takes courage. Okay, inspiring pictures. Okay, so next up, um, art people rock. Yeah, okay, so... We are sort of get, getting a bit of a picture of our character. So they do like art. They like art stuff. Um, and then, yeah, they've got board games, which is good. And they do have a games console as well. Okay, fine. So yeah, they like a few things. They like a variety of different things. Uh, they also like little plants, which we can't put on those shelves, which makes me a bit sad, I'll be honest. Okay, where can we put this plant? We're going to put it just there. That'll do. Right, next up we have... What is that? Like a star cushion type thing. Can we not? Ah, yeah, we can put that in the window. Okay, yeah, that's good. Because the window seat does look a little bit empty. So let's put some things in there. Um, What is that? Uh, that is... Uh, I, I don't know what that is. Is that... Are they pens? Are they? Is that art equipment, possibly? Is that art stuff? Uh, I'm not entirely sure. Can we put them up there? No, we cannot. Um... Okay, I don't know what to do with those. I kind of feel like we need to rearrange something. I feel like we need to rearrange things. We need something here so we can put art things onto it. If that's an art thing, if this is some sort of pens or whatever it is, I can't really see. Um, that's it placed. Hang on, can we just put it... Um, can we pick... No, hang on, get rid of that. Uh, hang on, get rid. So that can go away. Can we move that over a bit and then get that item back and put it there? Uh, yeah, I think that's paintbrushes and things. That is definitely art equipment. So could we... Hang on. So take that off there. Take that off there. Put that... No, oh, put it anywhere. Put it somewhere there. That'll do for now. That thing... Can that then become our kind of art supplies tray? Put that there. Put that onto the table. Okay, right. You've been demoted or promoted possibly from plant holding device into art supplies holding device. Okay. And then we have a little box of some kind okay that i can't rotate for some reason that one is not rotating i don't know why all the other ones appear to rotate but that one is not rotating and also i can't seem to put it anywhere is it a wall mounted oh i see 
So do some items have to go in particular places? Right, okay. Okay, so let's put that up there then. And then we've got, oh, more artwork. Okay, put that above there. You can make anything by writing by C.S. Lewis. Yeah, it's a good quote. Yeah, absolutely. Right, there we go. And then little sort of pictures. I mean, yeah, we can't hang things on the walls over there, but I think that is a desk type picture, isn't it? It's, um, is it a desky picture? It looks like it is. It looks like it should be on a desk of some kind. Yeah, look, it's kind of, it's moving around on its own over there as well. Where can this live? Um, hang on, hang on. I kind of feel like, oh, again, these are going up here. Right, these are fixed things. I have to go on those particular shelves. Okie doke. Um, okay, book, fine. And uh, a book. Can that, okay, that's not, that's going on that shelf. Okay. So this is part of sort of, sort of, you know, relaxing item sorting thing. And also part puzzle game, because you have to figure out exactly where the items go. Because, yeah, they fit in certain places. Um, okay, that is, I'm not quite sure who that is. It could be people from some sort of you know, musical group of the time of 1994. Or it could be some sort of piece of artwork that we've painted and that we're proudly hanging on the wall, because it is very good. Okay, and then we've got... Ah, okay, right, so some more. Right, where can we put these? In fact, hang on, if we put those along there, I quite like that. If that's going to be our artwork, yeah, okay, but... Hang on a second, hang on. That needs to be reorganised, so that's in the middle. There we go, like that. That looks okay. Next one... Oh, crikey, okay, right, more of these. I'm sure they have a style. I'm sure they have a sort of a particular style to them, like a name style, but I don't know what it is. I'm not really big into art styles. Right, what is this then? So this is... Uh, a, oh, it's a diary. Okay, that can go on the table over there. And I think... Oh, oh, hang on a second. Hang on a second. Uh, we're just going to reach... And, oh, hang on, I can't move things around. Uh, hang on a minute. Choose one thing that you'll keep moving through life with. Oh, and look, there's sunlight coming through the window now. So I think we've put down all of the items. Okay, right, so we can turn it back onto the camera and have a little look around. I want to move things, game. That I want to move that. I want to move that bottom picture up to there. So we've got like a, a, a whatever it is, a landscape and then a portrait. But the game won't let me. Okay, choose one thing that you'll keep moving through life with. So we have to pick one thing. Okay, so we get to select a thing from the room that we're going to take with us into our next location. Okay. I mean, what do we pick? I mean, I'm very tempted by the tea. We can make tea anywhere, I suppose. Um, I mean, do we pick a piece of art? Do we pick the artwork? I mean, I kind of feel like we should pick our diary. We should pick our diary and keep that. Okay, so number one is... Uh, oh! Oh, I see. Okay, hang on a minute. Hang on. So we can pick either... The easel. Oh, okay, right. So we can pick either the art thing, that one, so the easel and the canvas, or we can pick that thing there. You can make anything by writing. Okay, I think, given that there's a lot of artwork around and art supplies as well, I think we'll keep that. Let's keep that. So do you want to use an item? Yes, I do. We're going to make sure that our character is an artist and they keep up their artistic work. Every child is an artist. The problem is how to remain an artist. Once we grow up, says Pablo Picasso, or said Pablo Picasso. Chapter 2, Love is Everywhere, Year 2001. Okay, so we've skipped forward, what's that, seven years? Okay, that's quite the leap. Okay, and then we kind of do the same thing again. Now, I think at this point, we have to kind of address the elephant in the room. And it's an unpacking-shaped elephant, because you might notice this game does share quite a lot of similar sort of elements, I would say, with the game Unpacking which is a brilliant game. It's really, really good. A fantastic example of storytelling unpacking, but without actually having any kind of dialogue or anything like that. It just tells a story with, you know, sort of environments and items and things. You kind of make up a bit of the story on your own, but some of it is kind of provided for you. But uh, yeah, this game is similar to that, very similar, but not exactly the same. So in unpacking, you kind of unpack boxes. It's like you're moving house or whatever. You take the items out of boxes um, and then, yeah, you sort of uh, put them around places that already exist. So, yeah, there's already beds in these places and cupboards and wardrobes and shelves and, I don't know, boxes and such like. There are places for things to go. Whereas this game, you're putting everything down 
from scratch, but you can't kind of open things up. So I couldn't put that diary that we had, for example, I couldn't put that into a drawer because that's not how this game works. So it's a slightly different take on things. But again, we are sort of, you know, traveling with a character, a protagonist. We're traveling through their life. And yeah, we're sort of going with them and we're sorting things out as we go. And I do like it, but yeah, it, yeah, it's it's similar in concept. It's marginally different, but I really, really enjoyed unpacking. It was brilliant. So you know, uh, this is this is also good. I like this as well. Um, so we've got in this new place in two thousand and one, we've got a string of sort of happy starlights. They're quite nice. But do we have another room? Oh yes, we now have multiple rooms. Okay, so a bathroom there with two sinks. Okay, and no toilet, which is weird. And then, okay, we've got two rooms. Okay, that's fine. Right, so what is item number one? It's the easel. So that's come with us. Okay, right, so pop that there then. Okay, so what's next? Uh, right, a big old chest of drawers. There we go. So we'll put that into that corner. I'm, I'm going to put the bed here if we get the bed. There we go. Right, so there's the bed. The bed can go there not through the wall. And then that means we've got a little bit of room on the side so we can actually have a bedside table or whatever. Right, there's a little sort of desk type thing. Okay, where are we gonna put that? I think maybe put that over there. So when you're at the, hang on, that's gonna get, no, 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 hang on, move it over a bit. The curtain's gonna get in your face if you do that. So put the desk there. The only thing I'm not sure about is where the doors are. There aren't any doors in this, but that's fine. Right, and then we've got, Crikey's. Okay, right. A little kind of fancy chair thing. Um, it looks nice. It looks very comfortable. I like that. We'll have that just tucked over there for now. Oh, and then a little sort of footrest type thing. Oh, that's very fancy. And we'll put that sort of flush with that for now. But then when you do want to kind of, you know, stretch your legs out a bit, just push it out a little bit. I like that. And then we've got a box type thing. Okay, right. That's got to be a bedside table type arrangement, hasn't it? That's got to be a bit like that. Are we getting another one? Yes, we are. Okay. I think maybe it might be time to move that over a bit. I think possibly that goes into that corner. There we go. So we fill that end of the room up. There's a little gap down there for something like, I don't know, a bin or whatever. Um, and then just ever so slightly move that over so it's more central. There we go. That's better. Okay, we're, we're collecting these things. Okay, <laughs> why have we got so many of these things? Uh, we can put them on top of other things. Okay, how many of these do we have? Have we got another one? Yes, we have. Okay, right. We really like brown rectangular, no, brown rectangular, brown square boxes. Right, this is good. Oh, good grief. Okay, <laughs> can, we, can we not have this one? Can they go on the wall? No, they can't go on the wall. Okay, we're going to put one down there. And I'm going to hope that's the last one. Um, I see we do have these in our house, but they're normally kind of fixed together, like big Ikea Kallax things. Uh, nope, there's there's another one. There's another brown box. Okay, we'll just, we'll just pop that there. Don't tell us another one. Hey, it's a... Uh, what is that? I don't really know what that is. A stand of some sort. Is that an art thing? Would you do art with that? We'll put that by the other arty thing. I don't really know what that is. And then like a big chair. Um, okay, we'll try and tuck that under there as best we can. This room isn't the biggest, is it? It's not the biggest. It's a very small housing in 2001. Uh, okay, and then we've got... Uh, oh, a light. Okay, that's fine. I like that. We'll put that um, sort of high up above the bed. That's okay. Oh, no. <laughs> Not more of these. Uh, okay, can we put can we put some of these in the bathroom? Can we? Oh, hang on a minute. I've, I've broken it. Hang on. Do we have to? Do we have different items in the bathroom? Uh, I don't know. I'm not entirely sure if we can switch items around. Um, okay, we're going to try and tuck these into here as best we can. Are they going to fit? I think they did fit marginally around here somewhere. Come on, fit it. There we go. Hang on. Move that one really far over. And then try and push that one as near as we can. There we go. Right. And then we've got a, is that a light as well. Is that a light? I assume that's a light. Okay, that's fine. And then we've got another light. We'll put another one there. I don't really know. Uh, and then we've got, 
Uh, what's that? Oh, it's a hairdryer. It's a hairdryer. Okay, right. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, I think we do have different items for the different rooms. So I think we have bathroom specific items here in the bathroom. And then we've got bedroom items over in the bedroom. So, okay. I mean, the hairdryer can just sort of go on there for now. That's fine. And then we've got a little basket of whatever that might be. What's that? Towels or something, possibly. Um, does that fit onto one of these shelves? Yes, it does. Okay. Uh, and then we've got, ah, yeah, like a sort of a sanitary bin thing. Um, I mean, there isn't a toilet, really. So we just put that in the corner. I don't know where the actual toilet's supposed to be. Um, we'll have a little sort of rug so you can step out of the shower onto that. Rather than, you know, dripping water all over the floor, you can stand on that. That's okay. And then, oh, yes. Like a little tiny pair of slippers type thing. That's good. Uh, toilet roll. Okay. Now, again, we haven't got a toilet in here, which is a bit strange, but okay. We'll just put some toilet roll and maybe put that at the bottom like that. I imagine we're going to have a few of these. Yeah, stack that up. That's fine. Stack up the loo roll. Okay, so the loo roll is all sort of stacked up in here. And now we've got this little kind of box, but I can't see what that is. What is that? Uh, oh, it's like a box of tissues. Okay, how about we put that just there? That's going to be okay. And then is that another box of tissues? Okay, stack them up as well. Oh, crikey. Okay, right, we're stacking up on tissues. Okay, that's fine. Then we have like a little sort of laundry basket type thing. Put that just there. Then we've got... Uh, is that is that a towel? That might be a towel. Okay, I kind of feel like a towel rail would make sense. Oh, I didn't mean to move the thing. There we go. A towel rail would make sense. But okay, no, we'll stack up some towels in there. Okay, that's fine. So they can all go in like that. That's all good. Um, another little sort of basket type thing that can go there possibly. And can we stack them up on there? No, we can't bother. Okay, never mind. So put that there. Okay, so that's looking all right. And then we've got oh, a hairbrush. Okay, that can go over here. Look, that can go on that shelf because I imagine they're supposed to be mirrors. They're not reflecting anything right now, but I imagine they're supposed to be mirrors. And then, of course, if you're doing your hair, you can look in the mirror to make sure it looks all splendid. So there we go. We shall have that. Uh, we'll put that on there as well, because that's an open tissue box. That makes sense. They're new ones and open. That's an opened one. And then we've got... Uh, oh, soap. Okay. Yep. Yeah, soap dispensy thing. We'll put that... Um, I mean, I don't know why there are two sinks. It's a little bit weird. So two taps and two sinks. But okay, we'll put that in the middle like that. And then we've got... That is, oh, that's a toothbrush. That's a toothbrush and toothpaste in a, in a little sort of, in a mug. Okay, that's fine. Uh, we'll put that there. Maybe move those over there then. So what I don't know at the moment is this character that we're sort of, uh, that we're going with, you know, through life. We're moving through life with. Are they on their own right now? Or are they with somebody else? At the moment, I'm thinking they're on their own. So we're going to have kind of that sink over there for, you know, you can wash your hands and do your teeth and everything in that sink. And this sink here, we can just have a different sort of, they can look in that mirror over there to, you know, look at, you know, actually look at themselves and do their hair and everything else. That's my plan. That's what I think we should do. That is some sort of lotion or cream or something, not quite sure. That is a similar thing. Now, should these be going in the shower? Uh, are they some sort of shower specific things? Although... I can't see a shelf in the shower to put any kind of shower gel or whatever. So maybe not. We'll put all those things over there, look. That's fine. Um, I don't know what that is. Oh, hang on. It just went dark. Uh, oh, the bathroom is done. I think we've completed work on the bathroom. Oh, yeah, there we go. Look, there we go. So the lights have come on. So I think we've done the bathroom. So now we have to go over to here. Right, okay. So that's sorted. So what's next? Ah, <sighs> crikey. Okay. Okay, we really, really do like these brown box thing majigs. Right you are. Message understood, game. We're going to build a little kind of extra storage unit thing over here out of the uh, the brown cubes. Oh my goodness me. Okay. Okay, right. We possibly need to go to some sort of uh, therapy or clinic about this because we have many of these. Um, okay, right. That's good. A little lamp. Again, jaunty angle. Love the jaunty angle. Then we've got... That's just a regular lamp. Um, okay, we'll put that in... Hang on, rotate it round. In that corner. I quite like that over there. Uh, and then we've got some... Is that artwork? That looks like a sort of a pin board or something like that. Or is that an actual piece of artwork? That can go above the bed because that looks quite exciting. Uh, oh, 
Okay, flowers, that can go wherever. I feel like we should put that there. Let's put that on that side. And then we've got what's that exactly. That is, oh, it's a sketchbook. I think that should go on there. I think that's like a sketching table of some description with a nice sort of, um, a nice bit of art on it. It looks like a person in a bay looking out over a, I don't know, a, a harbour or something. There's a boat and you can see the sky and the water and trees and such like. Very good. Well done. I can't draw anything at all. My drawing skills are abysmal. So, well, yeah, that's very impressive. Ah, here we go. That is, I mean, did laptops look like that in 2001? I don't recall them being quite as sort of not rectangular. I mean, laptops in 2001 still were sort of just, you know, rectangles, weren't they? I don't remember that. Okay, that must be a very particular type of type of thing. Um, we've got... Oh it's, oh, it's a coffee machine. Botherations. Okay, right, never mind, never mind. We can't win everything. Let's put that in there for now. That can just get parked away in there. Then we've got some more lovely arty things. Oh, that's a... I like that. That's good. I like that. That's fun. That's a little sort of exciting picture of sort of happy flowers. Oh, that's lovely. I want that. Right, so we'll have that. And then next we have a mirror. Okay, put the mirror in the middle of that wall. That would make sense. And then there's a little sort of um, handbag type thing. That'll make sense to go over here, possibly. Just put that in there. Then we have another bag. Okay, so we've got a few bags. Then we've got shoes. Now, see, this, I think, is where this game differs to unpacking. So, I mean, in unpacking... I'd see some shoes and I'd think, ah, I would open the drawer and put the shoes inside and then shut the drawer because you, know, you would put them inside. But in this game, you're not doing that. You're not sort of storing things where you're building up a picture of somebody's life. You know, like if you went in, you know, when it's all done, if you went in the end, took a picture, it would be a snapshot of, you know, just a normal day or whatever. So yeah, maybe the shoes are, I don't know, over here. Maybe they had a bit of a night out and then they've left their shoes just there. That's okay. And they've got another pair just here. Uh, okay backpack type thing we'll put that in hang on it's going to be that way isn't it so you can grab it quickly and get out so put the backpack in there um more shoes okay they're gonna have more shoes down here this can be a little kind of shoe area um okay so a white i mean is that a pillow it looks like a pillow to me that should go on the bed i think uh ah okay that matches the bed but should we put it over there no, we shouldn't. The game says no. The game says that goes on the bed, please. Okay, that's fine, game. We'll do that. Oh, crikey. It's okay. <laughs> Hang on a minute. More scatter cushions. Um, okay, that's another cushion. Can we have less cushions, please? I never understood these. Don't understand scatter cushions because you just move them out of the way when you get into bed. Um, okay, a little... What is that? Uh, oh, it's a fan. It's a fan. Um, okay, we'll put that next to our bed because maybe it's warm where we are and that can keep us nice and cool at night time. Then we have a box of... Oh, it's art supplies. It looks like paper and there's sort of paints and things in there. It looks like sort of tubes of acrylic paint type stuff. I mean, maybe that could go up there. That'd be quite good. Then we've got whatever that is. Uh, oh, it's a teeny tiny a proper digital alarm clock. So we've moved away from the 1994 kind of, you know, old style uh, proper alarm clock uh, through to a digital one. Okay, right. And it's currently quarter to eight in the evening. Okie doke. And then a heart balloon. Oh, that's exciting. Okay, right. We've got a floaty heart balloon. That's good. Um, a bin. Okay, that's what I wanted to see. There's a little space down there for that very purpose. Wonderful. Then we've got some magazines. Um... Okay, maybe we could put them over there for now, but I'd like, can we have them at a jaunty angle? Yes, like that. Okay, that's fine. Because if you're over here, sort of, you know, leaning out to grab them, you're going to put them back at that angle. I quite like that. Um, oh, then we've got a little sort of uh, mannequin type thing that you can draw. I mean, art stuff is kind of going over here. So we'll tuck you into there. And then a mug that can go... Well, hang on. What does it say? What is a best sister ever okay so now we know that our character has a sister and they think we're the best sister ever oh that's kind uh oh they can go down here look 
I think maybe they can go down there. They're like the, the easy living kind of area here. You just sort of, you know, got comfy slippers, comfy chair, footrest. That's where you go when you've had a hard day. Okay, up next we have a little kind of balloon dog type thing. Uh, okay, we'll put that on the desk over there. That's quite fun. Uh, then we have a nice kind of rug type thing that I think maybe should go... Again, actually, hang on. What side of the bed are we like to get out of? I think we get out of that side of the bed. So again, we'll put that over there so we can stand on something nice and soft in the morning. That's lovely. Uh, and then we've got... Oh, okay. Like a sort of a neon sign type thing. Cocktail glass. Uh, yeah, okay. Do you know what? That looks pretty good there. If we could get another similar thing and put it on the other side, that would be quite good. But instead we've got whatever that might be okay hang on what is that that's oh it's a phone it's a ye olde 2001's phone it looks like you flip the screen up and it's got an aerial sticking out okay we'll put that over there that's that's very exciting oh then little picture okay so i assume that's our family so hang on can we rotate it around um the camera's kind of fixed so i can't move forward or backward i'm kind of fixed into this one point so i can turn around and i can zoom in and out but i can't kind of move forward toward that picture but if we sort of angle it correctly so if we put that down so yeah there's definitely well i mean that's a different there's it looks like to me there are there's a, a mum character a dad character and then two daughters that's what it looks like to me i mean i might be making assumptions there but there we go right okay so next up I I love art. Okay, let's put that there. So it's sort of, you know, sort of uh, going around this. So we've got that in the middle and then two pictures either side. I imagine we're going to get some more arty pictures. Um, okay, and then we've got that thing there, which looks exciting. Does that symbolise anything? Is is that not like the Volkswagen logo or something? Although it is sort of rainbowy. It is rainbowy. Uh, okay. Not quite sure what that symbolises. Oh, okay. And then we have a little sort of uh, another frame. Hang on. Let's put that over there. Look, that looks like, again, I'm trying to zoom in as best I can. I can't really see. It looks like a girl in a red dress and a man stood behind them, but we can't really see him. Okay, right. That's fine. That's okay. And then another picture. Right. Okay. That's, that's us. I'm going to assume that's a picture of us. That's us there. So that's us, I assume. That's us in the middle. The older sister, I would imagine. And then we're there as well. Potentially, are we in the same dress? We might be in the same dress in both those pictures. But okay, that's fine. Right, next up, we have... Oh, a diploma of some kind. Okay, so we've got a fancy thing. We've done a clever thing. Uh, okay, we'll put that... In fact, you know what? That can go there because we can see it and be proud of it. And then we've got... Ah, there we go. I was going to say, can we have another little kind of picture to go down here? It's not the same orientation as those ones, but that's fine. Uh, right, then we've got some books. Okay, so the books can tuck in... Hang on, sideways, come on. Like that, they can go on there. And then we've got a little plant. Very good, nice to see. Uh, we'll put that on the desk. Ah, and there we go. That is done. Can we look around again? There we go. And look, I like how... When you finish it, the sort of yeah, the lights come on and you get to look around the room a bit. But um, okay, so choose one thing that you'll keep moving through life with. So what are the options? So number one is that picture. We've got a close-up view of that picture. Okay, so yeah, that's us. That's us right there, I'm assuming. And then there's this sort of chappy here. We don't know much about them, but okay, so I assume at the moment they're going out or whatever. Or do we pick number two, which is the diploma. Okay, so what are we putting first? Oh, I quite like this. So I wonder, what I don't know is, I wonder if whichever item you pick, I wonder if it dictates the next level you go to. So if we pick, for example, the painted, the picture, if we pick this, if we said, yes, we'll have that, I wonder if we'll go to a place and possibly we'll have extra items for him because they've moved in together. Or... If we pick this over here, if we pick the diploma, I wonder if we're still on our own, but we get more sort of, I don't know, more specific, work specific things or something, or more arty things or whatever, because we've decided to focus on our kind of career rather than the relationship side of things. I don't know if that happens or not. I might be speaking nonsense, but I imagine that's got to have some bearing on it. Otherwise, what's the point of choosing? You just take one item with you to the same thing. So, um, I don't know. What do we pick? Do we pick that lovely picture? 
And do we find out more about you, mystery chappy in the background there, or do we pick our diploma? Because, you know, we work hard to get that, I imagine. I imagine, yeah, that's quite the achievement. That's quite a good thing. Do you know what? We're picking that. We're picking the diploma. The character, whatever her name might be, is clearly one smart person. So let's continue that show. Yes, we will pick that diploma. Thank you very much. Okay. So now where do we go? Previously, it was 2001, wasn't it? So now we head to chapter three, Lost in the City, year 2010. Okay, so nine years have gone by since the previous one. And that's going to be, what's that, 16 years since chapter one. To succeed, you have to believe in something with such a passion that it becomes a reality, said Anita Roddick once upon a time. Okay, so let's go have a little look around. Right, so a slightly bigger room, like a main room type thing, and then we've got a littler room. Okay, so another room, so another kind of you know, living space or whatever, and then a bathroom with an actual bath in it. Again, no toilet. Don't know what they do. No idea. Go out the window or something. And then back to that big room again. Okay, so now we have the three rooms to work with. Okay, I mean, the bathroom seems like the logical one to do first. So let's go and do the bathroom, shall we? Um, yeah, we've got the, that's like a little sort of storage unit type thing. We'll put that there, look. What's that there? What's that big thing there? I don't know what that is. Um, a shelf. Okay, I wonder. Because at the moment, if you're in the bath, you've got nowhere to put anything. So could we potentially put that there over the bath? And then if you're in the bath and you want to you know, grab some, I don't know, some uh, uh, soap or something or whatever, you could put it on there, shampoo or whatever. You could put it on there. That would make sense. I quite like that. Um, another shelf. Let's put that one there. Can we have another shelf, please? No. Okay, never mind. Uh, what is that? Oh, it's a light. It's a light. Okay. Um, above the mirror. That's quite good. Oh, and then another light. Okay, hang on. So that can go in the middle of that wall. I think that's about the same position, same height. Okay. Uh, and then we've got a little sort of, yeah, like a laundry basket type thing. We just pop that in over there. What's coming up next? That's more like a sort of a litter bin type thing, isn't it? So you put your sort of rubbishy stuff in there. Um, I don't know. Let's put that over there. Look, that seems to go quite well down there next to the sort of shelving thing over here. Okay, next up we have a chair, which is a little bit of a surprise because I don't really think you have chairs in bathrooms, do you? Why would you have a chair in there? I suppose maybe to sit down and... I don't know, dry your feet or something. I don't know why would you need a chair in a bathroom. I'm not entirely sure. We're going to put that in the corner at a bit of a jaunty angle because I do like a jaunty angle. OK, uh, right. That can go. I mean, just there makes perfect sense. You can stand on it while you're doing your teeth and you can get out of the bath and stand on that and it doesn't make the floor all wet. They've got a fancy sink type thing. Look, they've got one of those posh ones. That's all very la di da, isn't it? Um, OK, then we have a box which i imagine can tuck into one of these i imagine is that just like a box of regular toiletry things uh oh yeah it's got a hair dryer in hair dryer and sort of hairbrush and stuff well actually hang on that's to do with hair stuff can that not just go on there because that's going to be used quite frequently i imagine um oh then a little plant that can go on there that's very nice then we've got uh, oh, that's a, a, a thing, a smell thing, isn't it? It's uh, like an aroma thing. So they've got, there's like a smelly sort of oil thing in there. And then you put the sticks in and the scent of whatever's in the oil goes up into the sticks and makes the room smell nice. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Then we've got a little, I don't know what that is, a potion of some kind. We're going to put the potion onto that shelf. Maybe it's a bath potion. Then we've got uh, whatever that is don't know what that is. Just as like an arty thing. Um, okay. We're just going to put that at the back of there because I don't know what that does. Let's just move these around a little bit. There we go. Okay. And then we've got, ah, then we've got a roll of towels. That makes sense. Like a sort of a nice bundle of towels. That's good. And then we've got, ah, yeah, soap. That'll make sense to go near the sink. Yep. Yeah, got that. Then we've got, um, Oh, bath bombs. Yeah, they can go on there. Look, yay for the bath bombs. Okay, I know what they are. They're bath bombs. Then we've got some uh, uh, jars of things. What? Why are there jars of things? Um, I don't know what they are. Possibly different 
salts or something to put in your bath? I don't know. I don't know what they are. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, right, then we've got, yep, yeah, toothbrush. Okay, I'm, I'm on board with that. We know what we're doing with that. That's all fine. Then we have, ah, okay, ah, right. Maybe that should go, I mean, I did. Yeah, there, look. So you get out of the bath, you grab your towel, and then you're all sorted. Oh, didn't mean to move that. Hang on. Okay, and then we've got some more towels. So put those in there. That's fine. Then we've got that. That can go over there, look. That can go near to the bath. And I think that's the bathroom done. Okay, so yeah, when you complete the level, the lights all come on. Okie doke. So now let's do this room. What is this room all about? What's going on here? Is this our kind of work room or something? Right. Diploma, pride of place on the wall. We brought that with us from our previous place. That's clearly very important to us. Okay, easel can go there. Again, looking out the window, probably looking out over something exciting. Although the level was called something in the city. So I wonder if we're now in a city. So we're looking out over a lovely cityscape with all different buildings and your hustle and bustle and things going on. And at the nighttime, all the lights come on. It looks very pretty. I like a cityscape. I do like looking out over kind of cities when they change from sort of, you know, evening time through to nighttime. Well, the lights come on and it gets dark in the sky like a cityscape. Um, oh, OK. There's a bed. Right. I kind of assume this would be a work room. OK, and we'll put the bed in the middle of the room there. Hang on a second. So what's in this room then? What's the main thing in here? Uh, OK, is this just like a like a living room now? Is that what this is? Is it going to be like a TV and, I don't know, other things in here? I don't know. I kind of feel like, yeah, do you know, I feel like we're going to have a TV. So we're going to put that there and there's going to be, oh, it's like a little teeny tiny apartment type thing. So everything's all in one place. Oh, OK. So this is going to be our kitchen and our kind of living space. Oh, that's very exciting. OK, right. Move that a bit closer then. Right. OK. Because, yeah, there's going to be loads of big things in here, loads of kitcheny things. Right, so that looks like a, I mean, potentially, yeah, there's a kitchen cabinet. Is it a sort of a built-in fridge, freezer type thing? I'm not sure. Ah, there's a TV, although it's on the wall. Uh, okay, that has thrown me slightly. I was going to put it onto that thing, but okay, how about then we have that like that, and then we could be facing it like that and then we've got room for things behind here if we need it uh like uh that thing what is that thing it's some sort of very weird arty storage thing okay right hang on we need to rethink this entire setup because that's clearly not working so put that down there that kitchen unit thing can go just there there's a tiny gap down there for something and then is it worth them putting that just there? What is that? That is bizarre. But okay, yeah, it's, we like arty stuff. So it's like an arty thing. Uh, that looks like a little side table type thing. So maybe that would go well next to the next to the couch there. So you can put your drinks on it or whatever. Uh, then we've got... Hang on. Then we've got a, a chair. Then we've got a chair. Then we've got that. So a rack of, hang on a minute, right, move you over. That can go next to that just there. I think these are supposed to go around that. I get the impression that they're supposed to go around that thing. So hang on, pop those into place, um, but better than that. Right, okay, we'll move that around later when we know what else is in this room. Um, then we've got, uh, oh, a shelf, okay. Oh, botherations. Okay, I wanted to put the shelves on this wall, but we can't because that wall is a ghost wall. Uh, okay, we'll put that just there and hope... Yeah, there's enough room. That's not going to... You know, we can open that door without it being stuck on the shelf. That's fine. I imagine we're going to have another shelf. So put that more or less the same height as that one. Okie doke. Next up, we have a little box with a hole in it. I'm not quite sure what's going on with the little box with a hole in it. What is that about? That is a little bit odd. Uh, okay. Can we put, is that like a fancy coffee table of some kind? Can we put that there? I don't know what that is. Right, a lamp. That's quite good. In fact, if we put the lamp behind us there, then we won't get the glare of it in our eyes while we're watching the TV. Okay, I quite like that. Ooh, fancy. I quite like the red version, to be honest. I like that more than the other one. No, no, the blue is quite nice. Do you know, actually, hang on. 
Geek of a Corporate Colours. I know, I take it back. The red one is okay, but that's much better. Geek of a Corporate Colours. Um, I mean, yeah, do we put it under... Oh, it doesn't like it under there. Let's put it just... I mean, it can't, I kind of feel like it needs to go under something, but it doesn't really like it under there. I don't. Oh, hang on. Hang on. It might... Hang on. Move that out of the way. Then can we push that to there and then put that back on top? Perfect. Yeah, okay. I like that. We're going with that. Um, oh, uh, that's a wine rack type thing. Oh, la di da. Um, okay, right. So we like we like a bit of wine. Okay, that's fine. Posh wine, and we've got a little sort of fancy. Uh, so I mean, I was going to say coffee machine, but you can make anything out of those. You can have coffee or hot chocolate or teas or whatever. But a little sort of hot drinks machine. Then we've got oh, and the little pods. Yes. I have one of these and it broke. It broke. It made really, really good hot chocolate and it broke. Okay, we'll have one of those. And then we've got... Ah, okay. So mugs and things to go with that. That makes sense. We'll try and put that... Put that over there. Although that's kind of getting in the way. Can that not go somewhere else? Uh, oh, do you know what? We'll put the wine... Up. I mean, that's potentially a bit dangerous. Joe, we'll put the wine up there. We don't drink a lot of wine. It's fine. There we go. And then we'll have that just spaced out a little bit more. Because that did feel slightly cramped. And then we've got... Oh, yes, right. Okay, little planty type thing. That can go on there. I like that. Nice succulent. Um, that is... What's that? I don't know what that is. Oh! Have they got a pet? Have they got a cat? Is that some sort of cat feeding thing and that's where the cat can go in like a little sort of box for the cat to go in like a sort of a, a little house type thing like a cat play thing and that's water and food for a cat I mean or a dog I suppose I'm just thinking it's a cat um okay got a green thing right uh, a picture okay right that yeah, we'll add the picture we'll put the picture there I assume that's now as again but again a bit older yep okay that's fine then we've got some books. Okay, where can the books go? Right, the book. Ah, are we going to have loads of things to fit on there? Uh, and look, there's a cat. Okay, I think we have a cat. Okay, that's fine. Uh, can that fit on there? Yes, it can. Although, actually, hang on. If that's a bowl of fruit, it should go on that table, really. It feels better there. Uh, oh, we've got a little kind of adorable owl thingy. Okay, that's got to go there. That's very exciting. Uh, right, cushiony things. Okay, they can go over here. Uh, one just there. And get the next one. Yeah, rotate it around. Put the other one there. We're going to have any more. Then we've got... What is that? Uh, oh, what does that say? Stay calm and light me up. Oh, it's a candle. It's a candle. Okay, right. So put that over there, look. And then hang on, go to the next. We've got... Um, oh, like another cushiony type thing. Okay, enough with the cushions. We're, we're all good for cushions these days. That can go on there. Um, and then we've got whatever that is. Oh, it's, it's, a t it's a TV control. Okay, hang on. That can go on the table. Again, it's a jaunty angle. I think... Oh, no. Ah, no, it's not done. The game sort of didn't click. It didn't respond to my clicks there, but never mind. Yeah, that can go into... Can that fit in there? No. Where does that have to go? Uh, hang on a minute. I don't. I don't know where this is supposed to live. <laughs> is it a yellow thing? No. Um, what even is this? Does it go on a shelf? Uh, does it go with on there? I don't know what this is. It's obviously got to go in a particular place. I just don't know where that particular place is. Game. What? What do you want me to do with this thing? Um. Right. I've been baffled by a... Yeah, what is that? Like a weird knotty thing. Uh, okay, right. Hang on. I'm trying to figure out where this lives because clearly it goes in a particular place. I just don't know. Hang on. We'll get rid of it for now. Maybe it has to go on the top of that thing. Does it go on there? No. Um, <laughs> I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is to work out where it should go. I I am completely stumped. Does it go on the on the sofa? Does it go on one of those? Does it go on the wall? On a table? On a chair? Right. Okay. I don't know what this thing is, and I don't know where it goes. 
Okay, this this is a mystery item. We're not quite sure of the mystery item, but okay. Right, hang on. What we're going to do is we're going to get rid of that. We're going to go back over in tier. I'd like to complete this. Right, so a wardrobe type thing. In fact, there's a wall there. Let's not use the wall space because, of course, we're going to have loads of paintings, I imagine. So if we put that there, and then that is, um, yeah, a little bedside table type thing. Put one of those there. And I imagine we're not going to have another one. Okay, that looks like a sort of a work table, like a bureau type thing. Uh, that can go at the end of the bed, possibly. Uh, oh, botheration's a bit like that. Is that is that okay? I don't really know what that is. Right, that's just a, another one of these cushion things. So we just put another one of them there. So many cushions. Oh, crikey. It's okay, we'll just stack them up <laughs> like dominoes. Um, that, I assume, is a big shelf of some kind. Okay, so put that under the diploma, and then we could put lots of things on there. Right, a little chair. Okie doke, right, so I took that under there, and then we've got another shelf, which we will put just there. Um, another cushion. Good grief. Um, okay, hang on. That can't go anywhere either. Oh, we're getting some very specific things. Oh, hang on, hang on, it can go there. It's just being awkward. Okay, no, that can go on there. Don't give me another... Oh, good grief. Okay, hang on. Get rid of that cushion. Move that one over. Move that over. Move... Oh, botherations. Okay, no, I've ruined it now. It's all gone wrong. Hang on a second. I'm trying to reposition these things. So, like, that'll do. Then get the next cushion. Right, there we go. That'll do. That'll do. No more cushions, please. Um, that can go just there on that side. A uh, little kind of lamp thing. I imagine that's like a work desk. So we'll put the lamp over there with... Oh! Like a sort of a treadmill type thing, which does look very small. It looks like a small treadmill. Uh, or that bed's massive, I'm not quite sure, but okay. And then a little yoga mat type thing. Okay, so we're looking after our fitness, we're looking after our health. Little set of sort of dumbbell type things as well. Let's put them over there, look. That can be sort of, you know, keep fit corner. Uh, then we have a box. Okay, don't know what's in the box. Put it onto there, that's fine. Then we have another box. Okay, don't know what's in that one either. Stack up the boxes. And then we'll have a little box on top of those. Okay, right, and then another lamp. However put a lamp there by the bed because we haven't got a light by the bed at the minute um oh glasses okay we've got to the point in our life where we have to get some glasses i know what you mean gay <laughs> i got to that point recently as well there we go right that can't go on that wall for some reason why can't that go on the wall uh oh oh hang on it's gotta it's gotta be on a shelf that's gotta go on a shelf Right, okay. That doesn't seem to be leaning though, but okay, that's fine. Fine, be like that game, that's okay. Right, put those two there. And then we've got another one. These are our artworks, I imagine, or our sort of paintings. Are they? they look more like photographs now. Hang on, that's a bedside, uh, that's an alarm clock type thing. Put that into there. Then we've got a stack of, okay, a stack of books. They can go on the shelf, because that's good. Then we've got... Is that a thing for the cat? That might be a thing for the cat. Then we have a very exciting plant. I like that. That's a good plan. Right. Laptop on there, because that's where we work. That's a little kind of... Oh, yeah, like a, a pen and some sticky note things. That's good. That is our phone, which I imagine would probably go better on there. It looks like an iPhone type thing, which in 2010, yeah, they're probably quite sort of newish. So I bet it's an iPhone of some kind. That can go there. And then we've got another one of those things. We'll put that up there, look. And then more books. Okay. Where can these books go? Uh, maybe here, actually. Maybe they could sort of stack up there. Oh, that room is done. Okay. So now it's, it's just this thing. Whatever this thing is, I need to find where it goes. But at the moment, I'm completely clueless as to what it is and where it's supposed to live. So, uh, right, hang on. I'm just going to go and click on all available surfaces in all available places 
to see if I can figure out exactly what I'm supposed to do with this weird thingamajig that I don't know what it is. Oh, I think it goes on the sofa. I think it goes right there because if we put it over the sofa, it changes color look. It goes to that kind of blue color, which is the same color as the cushions and things. Um, okay, put that onto there. Right, what else do we have? Um, we're all broken. That's how the light gets in. Okay, another good kind of quote thing there. Okay, put that on the wall. And then we've got... What's that? Like, oh, that's like a teeny, is that like a coaster? Like a sort of a coaster of some kind with a pet print on it. Uh, then we've got a little vase type thing that can go in that corner. Then we've got, oh, like a fun one of these that clicks and clacks. Okay, we'll have one of those. And then a painting of what I assume is, uh, I uh, don't know who that is. Uh, that could be our sister. That could be our sister and her daughter, possibly. Maybe it is. I don't know. So our our niece, maybe? I'm not sure. Then we've got whatever that is. Oh, it's like a uh, like a radio or something, is it? Like a little sort of, I don't know, like a speaker of some kind. Okay. Then we've got a ball. Uh, do we just put that down? Okay, that's for the cat to play with. I assume it's a cat. Then we've got... Uh, oh, a tablet. That can go on the table. That's what that get left, wouldn't it? On the table. Then we have a ah, picture of the cat. It is a cat. Okay, do you know what? Picture the cat right there. Oh, and there we go. Choose one thing that you will keep moving through life with. Okay, so there's our room set up. So what do we have to choose from? We've got either the adorable sort of plushy owl type thing, or we have... Oh, we volunteer. We help out at like an animal shelter or something like that. Oh, that's quite good. I mean, I do like this. I, lo I love that. That's brilliant. And it's adorable and very, very cute. Look at it with his little eyes. But I think, in terms of our character, we have to go down that route. Let's go and uh, choose this. We did some volunteering. I like that. Because, yeah, that's good. That's a good thing. We're volunteering. We're giving our time to do this kind of stuff. I like that. Yeah, we're going to go and help animals. That's what we're going to do. And there's the cat. Hello, cat face. So, chapter four... The turning point. Okay, so year 2016. So another six years have gone by. A bone to the dog is not charity. Charity is the bone shared with the dog when you are just as hungry as the dog, said Jack London. Wise words, Jack London. Oh, okay. So this is a little bit different. So now do we have more things to add in? Oh, it looks like we do. It looks like there are more things for us to add in. Okay. So is everything else looking more or less the same? So get rid of that for now. Hang on. Get rid of that. So this is kind of how we left it. So we've left it in this exact orientation for six years, did we? Good grief. But okay. Okay. So I think, yeah, now we're in the same place, but we've got even more things to add in. I imagine that's what's going to happen here because, you know, we've done something. Life's changed. And now, I don't know, maybe people have moved in or whatever. I'm not quite sure. But I think with that done... We will wrap things up for now with our little look at moving through life. I think you get the idea with this. Things progress, things kind of change and develop. And um, yeah, we are moving through the life of this character. And as we play each room and we sort of, you know, find out what's going into each room, we get a little bit more of a picture of what that person is like and what they're doing. Now, yeah, again, I'm not sure whether our choices dictate what happens in the different levels. I'm not quite sure whether the chapters change depending on the items we choose. But um, but yeah, I quite like it. I like it. I mean, yeah, it satisfies that kind of unpacking itch. Again, we said it sort of earlier, but it's very similar. It's very similar. It tells a story through various items and things. And um, yeah, it's very enjoyable. It's quite nice. It's nice just to have a nice game like this. There's no pressure. You can just put things down. I mean, the only thing that really mystified us was that weird thing there whatever that is like a knotty thing i don't know is that something for the cat or whatever i don't know but um yeah that was the only thing that kind of mystified us but really you kind of can put things more or less wherever you like you can't put things anywhere you like of course there are some rules and restrictions but yeah i quite like it i like a game like this it's just nice and calm and laid back you get to put some things around a house and then it tells a story as you go along but uh but yeah we'll make up the rest of the story i'd like to think our character went on and you know, did some amazing artwork had a lovely family and it was all wonderful and splendid and they had a lovely old time of things but yeah we'll wrap things up for now with our little look at moving through life hopefully you did enjoy this if you did please do leave a like that would be most marvelous indeed and also if 
you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with all the other bits and bobs and nonsense that we get up to in the Geek Cupboard. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard, and I will see you next time. Yay! Okay, exciting things are happening. Where does Gigantic Big Stabby Knife live? They're D&D and they've got a dice tower, and they've got character sheets, and they've got some dice. Oh, this is wonderful. Look at my best life. Oh my goodness me, so much undergarmentage. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> Praise be, the kettle has been uncovered.